Welcome back, everyone, to our prayer journey with my toad daily devotion. I am going to go back to this same topic that we've been dealing with, the signs of our times. This particular topic is on the diverse troubles that we will see in the last days. Are we in the last days? If you look, I did two of the devotions on this. One devotion was on the false messiahs. And the other devotion was on wars and rumors of wars, all signs of the end times. But at the same time, God said, Jesus said, that not to be troubled and the time is not yet. So we could just be in a cycle. And that cycle could be a cycle that we've seen throughout history and throughout the Bible. You ever hear of a revival or an awakening to God? Well, we see this a lot in the Old Testament, especially, but we even see it today. What has happened from time to time is God gives us order. We call on God, we follow the same procedures together, we follow and walk together in brotherly love, and then we slowly move away from God and forget Him. And then we're in a lost state. It's like the ebb and flow of the oceans. But the cycle gets worse and worse every time we look at it. Because the evil gets more and more. When you go out through history, there were millions of people that died before. But the last century was the most horrific of all time. Are we closing in on the same thing now? I know you can put on YouTube channels, you can hear all of the fearful things they're speaking about, the diverse tribulations that we are facing. We went through a pandemic. They speak about food shortages, global warming. They speak about wars and rumors of war, which I talk about another one. And with that, famines that will come and famines that are coming other places, water drying up in the rivers. In fact, I saw one video. I always thought that was maybe natural, but it may be because we diverted water for, da from, for dams. But whatever the case is, when the human heart gets further away from God and godliness, things start to spin out of control. But there's a way to bring it back. But we seem, again, to escalate destruction more and more. You saw more deaths in the 1900s than you did all of the other times in history. How about this cycle that some people, some great thinkers or people who meet together in worldly ways in European countries to look at the, de the destiny of the earth, who want to reduce the human population to only 500 million people. I think Bill Gates was one on board with this. What does that mean? How do you go about doing that? Now, I'm not saying he's actively trying to do that, but how would you go about doing that? It seems the evil of men have no bounds. For Jesus says in Matthew 24, 7, for a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence on the earth, quakes in diverse places. These are the beginnings of sorrows. Are we on the beginning of sorrows? I know a Christian is called to pray this way. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And that I pray toward. I want God to set up his kingdom so we don't see all of this starvation and all of these things going around. But what I also see in history is that many times we had cycles. In the Old Testament, in, in Exodus 2, 23, it says, Under bondage of Egypt, they cried, and the cry came to the Lord, and the Lord Elohim heard them, and he moved. In Judges 3, 9, and when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, the Lord raised up a deliverer. In Judges 10.10, 10, and there's many more. 
And the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, saying, We have sinned against thee, for we have forsaken you, and you, and we have also served Balaam. And God hears the cry of his people. And that's the thing. You know, I was wondering, how many people does it take to cry out and say, God, we need this evil removed from us. We need a great revival. We need an awakening. How many people does it take? Maybe it's one more. So this day, cry out to the Lord and ask him to intervene that we would not, in this cycle, see the goals of some people to reduce the serve population to 500 million people. I mean, already in certain countries, they're allowing youth in Asia of young adults, not just sick people, but young adults can have an assisted suicide. Have we gone more evil than ever before? We're on the verge. If God doesn't intercede or come back, we're in big trouble. So let's cry out together that God would do a great work in this earth and he would come back and send us a deliverer, even if it is Jesus Christ himself who comes and takes his people out. But don't leave those behind that you did not tell about Jesus. So until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.